Hello there. Today is the second part in the cooking videos. And today we're going to be making lasagna. So let me show you what you need for my lasagna, for my take on lasagna. I know everybody makes everything different. For example, I got loads of comments on the last video saying, Oh, I never, I never didn't do this. But this is the way I make lasagna. So let me show you what you need. A big pot. Okay, so first thing you want to do, peel your carrots and shove them into some boiling water so that they're easier to chop later for the lasagna. Five, yeah. Five. Five is enough, they're all pretty skinny. Next, you want to just chop up your carrots a little smaller so that they um, boil quicker and they're softer for later. So you want to just pour your carrots into your little pot and try not to mess it up. And just let them simmer the entire time you are cooking the rest of your ingredients. Next thing you want to do is your mince. So you just put a little bit of oil into your pot. Turn that on, heat it up, and then shove your mince in there so that can brown while you Chop the rest of your ingredients. Look away now if you're a vegetarian. Oh, look at that hefty pound of mince. Oh, looking good. Let me just probably just shove, shove that right on in there. Try and avoid getting any blood in there. You can let that brown as we chop the rest of our ingredients, getting ready to put them in with the mince when it's brown. Next thing you want to do is just give your mushrooms a wash. Have the mushrooms and the onions ready to go into the mince first so that their uh, natural flavor just comes off into the mince as it's cooking. I'd say about six mushrooms will do. We're making a big lasagna today. So I'm not really a big fan of veg. I know it's good for you, so I try to eat it. So I chop all my vegetables really small and finely. You don't even know they are in your meal. And don't forget, while you're chopping your mushrooms and the rest of your veg, don't forget to give your mince a little stir. You can see that's getting a little more brown there now. That's what we want to see while we're chopping the rest of our ingredients. And our carrots are boiling away nicely. Right, mince is still browning. Veg is almost ready to go. Get our onions done, and by that time, the mince should be nice and brown. Don't know about you, but I always think of Shrek when I'm chopping onions. The other thing you want to have ready as soon as possible for when the mince is brown is your garlic. You want to put that in with the meat as soon as it's ready to go. Next thing you want to do is just peel your garlic so it's ready to go in after you've drained your mince. What I do next when it comes to garlic is I actually don't really chop it up unless it's absolutely huge, like that piece of garlic. 
I would usually just crush it with the side of the knife. There you can see some crushed garlic. I think it's better than chopping it. And uh, yeah, a lot of the juices you can just shove straight into the mince then. Speaking of the mince, let's drain some mince. Ah, so now we see our mince is nice and brown. All good. So what we want to do, I, I don't see a lot of people do this. We're going to want to drain the excess oil out of the mince. The oil is there to help brown it so it doesn't burn. But now we've used that, we don't need it anymore. Drain it away. So what you want to do is you want to run your... A bit of boiling, a bit of hot water, make sure it's very hot so that the oil doesn't clog the sink. And then just drain your mince. Okay, once your mince is all drained, you can start to throw in your garlic, your lovely, throw in your veg that you've already chopped, and your sauce. Oh, lovely. And you want to put it back on the heat, but not as high as it was when you were browning them. It's a low heat. Now this is a lot of mince. This is two pounds of mince, so you're going to want a big jar of sauce. You don't want dry mince, so a lot of sauce is what you want for your lasagna. Oh, look at that. That's good stuff. So like I said, keep that on a low heat while you finish chopping the rest of your veg. So your mince is starting to look good, your carrots have been boiling away nicely this whole time. So it's probably time to chop those up and put them in the mince. Got your carrots. Right here. What I do next is I fill this pot with cold water. Carrots back in there, so the cold water cools down the carrots, so you can chop them. Okay, so you're nearly finished now. Your carrots have had a chance to cool down. Chop them up, shove them in the mince. The mince is still on a very low heat. All your veg is in there now. And it's pretty much ready to go. Right, so next thing you want to build your lasagna with the pasta sheets and while you're doing that, preheat your oven to 180 degrees. And then you want to stick that in the oven for approximately 45-50 minutes. 53. Oh, there it is. Hot plates. And of course, garlic bread. Oh, it's perfect. Look. Don't forget your bits. Hello there. 
So, in regards to the haircut, should be getting a scissors delivered in maybe, oh, I don't know, this week anyway. So, keep you updated on that, but it's not yet. I'll let you know when I get the scissors and then haircut will come as soon as possible and it's well needed. If you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video.